subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From a family portrait of black holes to the fossils of giant birds that would put the current day albatross to shame, on this edition of Scientifics, we talk about the top science stories of the week from across the globe. Scientists from the International Collaboration of Astronomers, which includes scientists from India, have produced the most detailed family portrait of black holes to date by analyzing the most recent gravitational wave data. Gravitational waves are ripples in the space-time fabric. The latest data from LIGO Scientific Collaboration and Virgo Collaboration, which are the two gravitational wave detectors, have helped discover 39 cosmic bodies representing a variety of black holes and neutron stars. The observations could be a key piece in solving the many mysteries of exactly how binary stars interact. A better understanding of how binary stars evolve has consequences across astronomy from exoplanets to galaxy formation. This illustration generated by a computer model shows multiple black holes found in the heart of a dense globular star cluster. This improved understanding of the mass distribution of black holes and knowing that black hole spins can be misaligned suggests there could be multiple ways for binary black holes to form. Using their observations, the team also tested Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which once again passed with flying colors. In other news from space, scientists have found that the asteroid Bennu has been orbiting near Earth for approximately 1.75 million years. This finding comes at a time when the asteroid is already in the news. Bennu is the same asteroid that NASA's Oresis Rex spacecraft touched down on recently, collecting samples. The samples are scheduled to be returned to Earth by 2023, which will allow scientists to learn more about the ancient past of the solar system. To learn more about the age of the asteroid and its time spent orbiting near the Earth, researchers from the US focused their efforts on craters and boulders on the surface of this asteroid. Prior research has suggested that Bennu was once part of a larger body and was knocked off by a collision with another object while orbiting in an asteroid belt located between Mars and Jupiter. After the collision, researchers believe Bennu slowly made its way out of the asteroid belt during that time, it was struck by other objects, some of which hit boulders on its surface, resulting in large craters. After it made its way out of the asteroid belt, Bennu continued to be hit by other smaller objects, some of which also struck boulders on its surface. But the researchers with this new effort believe those newer strikes resulted in smaller impact craters. And because Bennu moved into the near-Earth orbit, those smaller craters represent the timeline of its move to the new orbit. By studying the size and depth of those craters using data from Oris's Rex, the researchers were able to estimate their age, approximately 1.75 million years, which also shows how long Bennu has been in a near-Earth orbit. Meanwhile, NASA scientists identified a molecule in the atmosphere of Saturn's moon Titan that has never been detected in any other atmosphere. The molecule is called cyclopropanilidine or C3H2. The molecule may be a precursor to more complex compounds that could form or feed possible life on Titan. The team found C3H2 by using a radio telescope observatory in northern Chile known as the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array or ALMA. Though scientists have found C3H2 in pockets throughout the galaxy, finding it in an atmosphere was a surprise. Since the molecule can react easily with other molecules it comes in contact with. Astronomers have so far found C3H2 only in clouds of gas and dust that float between star system, that is, in regions too cold and empty to facilitate any chemical reactions. However, Titan has a dense atmosphere, which is why NASA is planning to send a probe called the Dragonfly mission to this moon in 2034. Scientists don't yet know why the molecule would show up in Titan's atmosphere, but the types of molecule on Titan's surface could be the same ones that form the building blocks of life on Earth. 
Back on Earth, scientists have found that fossils that were recovered from Antarctica in the 1980s belong to the oldest giant members of an extinct group of birds that patrolled the southern oceans. The wingspans of these birds went up to 21 feet. That would dwarf the 11 and a half foot wingspan of today's largest bird, the wandering albatross. The birds were much like that of today's albatrosses. They travelled widely over the Earth's oceans for at least 60 million years. The team believes that the birds evolved to a gigantic size relatively quickly after the extinction of the dinosaurs. The last known bird of this species is from 2.5 million years ago, a time of changing climate as Earth cooled and the ice ages began. The species are known as bony toothed birds because of the bony projections on their jaws. However, these projections are not like human teeth. Instead, they were covered by a horny material, keratin, which is like our fingernails. Called pseudo-teeth, the protrusions helped the birds nag squid and fish from the sea as they soared for perhaps weeks at a time over much of the Earth's oceans. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print through the link in the description box below.